by now you've probably heard of chat gpt the ai chatbot that has been trained on billions of pieces of writing so that it can um, produce original pieces of work and as a teacher i often use turn it in to check to see if something's been plagiarized now chat gpt in theory is writing something afresh each time and should not get picked up for plagiarism. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm not gonna do it just once. I'm gonna run uh, this prompt here about thunderstorm asthma, which is an actual thing which happens. Uh, it's an actual um, assessment task that some students do. And I'm gonna run it once and see what happens. And then I'm gonna run it another 19 times. And I'm gonna see whether ChatGPT starts to write things the same and whether it will show up in Turnitin. Let's go. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, so thunderstorm asthma is a condition that can occur when certain weather conditions, blah, blah, blah. Pollen and mold, rare condition. Um, so it's got a few tips here, factors, what you can do, and it's got a couple of references. All right, so I'm going to get that and put it into turn it in. Here we go. All right, confirm and let's see how it's only 597 words, I guess, uh, you know, being a beta. Okay, that comes in at 7% similarity with um, other things. And if we have a look at it, um, it's probably the citations or something else like that. Let's see. Okay, there's a bit of a definition about asthma. Uh, yep, a couple of the tips, but look at these paragraphs. These paragraphs are not coming up. So if I reiterate, uh, do some iterations of this, we'll see what is gonna happen um, with that score to see if the score goes up. So go back to here and I'm gonna get it to try again. I've just had to mess about a bit with the VPNs and such because it was throwing an error. So if you want to do this, um, sometimes GP GPT, it just gets jammed up with um, requests and it'll say basically no. All right, so it's just popped up and let's see. Okay, right, I'm going to highlight. I've done it in white mode because it'll show up better on the Word document. All right, and now we wait. Okay, so AI2 is coming back at 10%. So um, I'm gonna keep on carrying on with this. I'm gonna regenerate, 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 and we'll see what we get after 20 iterations. That took me a long time. I had to keep reloading uh, chat because it um, kept throwing errors. But in the end, I got 20 little essays. They're all about 500 words each, so they don't actually do a thousand, I think just because it's a beta. But um, you can see that they would all pass the Turnitin test. And you know, there's no indication that they are starting to repeat themselves after 20 iterations. Uh, you can see that the lowest percentage was 2% about halfway through whereas the highest one was, you know, the third one that came through. And they're not really showing up as being the same as each other as well. So if I click through here to grade them, uh, you can see that was my first one that I did with a dark background and then I changed to white because it would match in with here. And you can see it is, you know, like a, that's quite like I would caution a student for that, um, for putting that in there. I'd, I'd tell them to rephrase it. Um, but, you know, at a grade eight level, you might not um, be too picky. Um, but that just carries on throughout. And if you look at the first sentence, thunderstorm asthma is a rare but serious condition or thunderstorm asthma is a phenomenon that occurs when certain allergens or... Thunderstorm asthma is a rare but serious condition. So that's kind of similar. You know, we, we're starting to see some similarities. I think that if you got a heap of these from different students, you would sort of start to see the pattern of how it comes together. Um, it would, like every paragraph is about the same length. Um, 
and they all start by you know with the um with the definition of what thunderstorm asthma is uh which you know you would you would tend to do in an introductory paragraph but they're very similar i mean if i look at this one though uh, this one doesn't have any dot points some of the others have got dot points so yeah structurally same sort of flow to them but there are there are differences if we look at the references we've got um Allergy Foundation of America, Mayo Clinic and National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute. If I look at the next one, it's Asthma and Allergy Foundation and the Mayo Clinic and it tells you when it's retrieved to in September. Hmm, interesting. Uh, this one's Mayo Clinic, Asthma, Asthma and Allergy Foundation. So they're getting, it's getting the information from the same place a lot. Um, if I just skip through to Okay, a bit further down. Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. Now I did see some that were cited in Australia. Um, actually, I wonder if that was the first one. No, same sort of thing. Centers for, you know, CDC gets a, a Guernsey as well. Ah, here we go. Here's an Australian one. So, yeah, we are not going to be able to pick it with Turnitin and instead we're going to have to focus on making sure we're there for the writing process. So that means monitoring um, either what they're doing in class or probably more realistic is to um, look at their history. So that's something you can do if you're using Office 365 and they're saving online or you can if you're using Google Classroom as well. Um, but other than that, Turnitin, unless Turnitin gets an AI implant, it is not going to be picking up on these.